it seems to me what you're describing is a very organic process and a very personal process, and so it, the instruction becomes much more personal. Yes. And you're not going to get that sort of instruction by watching a, uh, a YouTube video about how to do your sequence. It's a, it's a relational, it's a very much of a relational Absolutely. dynamic. Yeah. But it can, it can become personal only when the yoga practitioner can weave his own experiences in the information that he gets. Hmm. You know, we have to understand that yeah. yoga is not a path of gathering knowledge. This is why yoga is not just philosophy. It's Darshana Shastra, as they say in India. Uh, philosophy is called a Darshana. Darshana means the one that is seen. And when you see see, it means experience. Yeah, real, real so, life. realization. Yeah. So, yoga is a path of realization. Yoga is not a path of intellectualization. It's a path of realization. And that's why yoga teachers or yoga students should understand that real growth in yoga happens not by reading 10 books, but by trying to practice what is written in the books and experiencing that uh, theory and making that theory your own experience. This is called realization. Hmm. I read a book, I read a scripture, I read Bhagavad Gita and I can uh, have all the 700 verses by heart. I can sit and give a discourse and people will come fall at my feet and say, wow, you're a scholar, you're, you are such a knowledgeable person. But knowledge has nothing to do with you. Yoga is all about realization and this is why traditionally uh, there were some, there were people called as pandits. Mm. Pandits were scholars, yeah. but they were not necessarily mystics. Mm. A pandit was not necessarily a siddha, mm. but a siddha may not be a pandit. Yeah. Like for example, a Ramakrishna, mm. yeah. eh? hardly literate. Mm. But when he opens his mouth, wow, pearls of this. Mm. Right? So, uh, we modern yogis have to realize again and again, remind ourselves again and again, that yoga is a path of realization. If you have a choice between reading 10 books and doing 10% practice, or reading one book and doing 100% practice, go for the 100% practice. Ultimately, if you read many books or too many books or yeah. gap, don't just be an information gatherer. Be an experience gatherer, not information.